Hello everyone, welcome back to channel Geek Nepal. My name is Subhas and I have been learning and implementing various instructions in IDEC PLC. Today I'll be working on the weak programmer. Okay. There are mainly four different types of instruction in FC 6A series PLC, which would be week table, week timer, yearly timer, weekly timer. FC 5A series only support week table and week timer okay already let's begin by adding a normally open contact and define this as i0 okay and let's drag and drop week instructions this week instruction can be programmed in two different ways one is fixed date and time by configuring the dialog box okay and the other one would be by allocating the data register okay and on and offsetting okay let's the plan here is to turn on the output when it matches the configured parameter or the data register parameter to the current date and time okay already this pulse output if checked will be used for one scan only if it is not checked it will work for on and off settings okay today's tuesday and it's 9 49 right now 6 28 tuesday okay and what we want to do here is tuesday on 9 50 we want to turn on the output and we want to turn off the output at 9 51 okay and it's nine what did we do here uh, B1 950 okay let's close this let's simulate the program here all right this output is one because the time configured is equal to current time 950 since it's 950 the configured time is 950 to 951 the 51 it should turn off okay within a minute it should turn off we will see already on this instruction yes one is a starting data register or the first data register yes two is an initialization input which would be a bit that could be memory bit right yes 3 is a number of parameter tabs which would be a constant number okay and d1 is the output port okay it's still on okay for the fixed day and time setting we do not use yes 1 and yes 2 values but for the data allocation uh, using the data register will use the value of yes1 and yes2 okay yes3 uses the six byte of use program reason for each parameter for d0 d1 and d2 okay uh, here this is off now let's go offline and you can see here pulse output p1 already okay now let's save this program and let's open a another program 18 okay already let's add a normally open contact okay and let's define this as i0 okay and that will turn on the memory bit m0 okay because we will use the data register this time okay and control c control v let's say this one is i1 uh, let's use the move function okay already we want to move 9 one five four to d zero 
Okay, and normally open contact. Yum eight one two five. Okay, and the construction here. Data register D zero to M zero. Q zero. Okay. And Tuesday. Twenty one. Fifty three. You can use Wednesday to not turn it off, but we will be using twenty one. Uh, off time D one and D two would be um, D one at fifty three already. So fifty five, fifty four. Let's see the data allocation D one, D two, D zero. Okay. Already and twenty one fifty four. Okay. Let's simulate the program here move the yes one value to d1 so do we have d1 here and m0 and the output is on because it's 954 okay and it should turn off when it's 955 already the main thing here is we program instruction can be used in two different ways one by allocating the data register uh the p ranges from p1 to p20 okay and while programming the weak instructions bit 0 to bit 6 represents sunday to saturday offsetting um, and bit 8 to bit 14 represents on setting from sunday to saturday bit 7 and bit 15 are reserved the displayed number are shown in decimal. Okay. D0 is set for day of the week setting. D1 is set for on time. D2 is set for off time. Okay. And yes, 3 which uses the 6 byte of data D0, D1, and D2. 2 to two, 2 bytes for P1, for P2. 6 bytes again so p ranges from 1 to 20 so you can program the weak instructions by allocating the data register or without allocating the data register that would be indirect addressing okay already let's close this already already thank you so much for having me uh, if you enjoy my videos, please do subscribe to the channel. I'll try to learn and implement a couple more instruction in the upcoming days. Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you on the next.